this is Jessica the Book Art Goddess and Jade of Tissy Lush. The squares went away. <laughs> She doesn't know how to act. We haven't done a video in a while. It's been like, what, almost three weeks. We haven't done any Okay, Friday let's reads. be honest. I never know how to act. <laughs> That's true. We do videos. But My look, dog is going crazy. Film. But anyways, guys, we are here to do our June TBR. We really haven't thought about what our themes are. So basically, it's just going to be whatever we wanted to read this month. It's just going to be that month. Because it's all going to be from books that have been on our shelves for a while. But... It's just one of those months that we need to read what we need to read <laughs> kind of thing. But we are going to read together two books. And um, the first book is Embrace by Jessica Mom, Sher Shervington. Once you want her, your paws are wet. And, yes, she's, <laughs> she's just been outside. It's raining. Um, oh, and this is supposed to be really, really good. So, And I have all of the books except the very last one. Which I will be buying if I like this one. Read what? We read one book together. We when? haven't done a review on it though. That's okay. That's a long time ago. They don't want to care. They don't care. I, I don't know. care. You fail at life. <laughs> How do I fail at life? I'm the one who read all the books that I, I read it first. To read together. <laughs> Anyways, but we're supposed to do this one together if she does it with me. I will. And with my book so first. Well, not the physical book, but it was my idea first. <laughs> I had this one picked up for a I long time. Him. All right, anyways. <laughs> and then we're doing the book that she recommended or suggested we do together. Yep. Why We Broke Up by Daniel Handler, which who wrote the mini snicket. If you didn't know. So. Yes, it is the author of the mini snicket. And this looks like a really good book. I love the illustrations. And she's an art freak, so... It should be really awesome. So, we'll see. Alright, so we're doing those together. Then I have some books that I am for sure going to read this month. And then some books that I will try to put into this month's rotation. If I have time and if I feel like it. The first one for me is The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Brecken. And it's been on my shelf since it came out. And I keep hearing all these great things about it. And every time somebody talks about it, I'm like, I got to read it. So I'm going to read it. And it is a little bit of a beast. But I'm okay with that. Few. Oh, let's show our... Oh, never mind. I guess we can show it last. I guess. I'm going to be reading Sarah Malinowski's Whatever After If The Shoe Fits. The first one was hilarious. So I'm going to read this one. Because I don't know what I want to read. Therefore, my pile is kind of filled with everything. Yeah, <laughs> usual. So. Okay, and then I have Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo, and I'm really, really excited to read this. Again, another one that all the YouTubers are talking about, because the third book is coming Which out. Which one is mine? The Book of Shadows. There we go. Okay, because this one is coming out, and everybody has been talking about it, and talking about how wonderful it is, I need to read it. So, I've got the an third army one. crawl going on on the floor right here. <laughs> She's so easily distracted. Like, they need to be coming by here when you're distracted already. It's so funny. They're trying to avoid getting hit in the camp with the camera, but... Okay. I love my siblings. Okay. <laughs> I'm reading 10 Things We Did and Probably Shouldn't Have by Sarah Malinowski as well. Because it looks good, too. So... <laughs> I swear I should Thank edit you this for video, having but I probably won't. <laughs> I really, really should. But no, I you leave it all in there. I'm definitely leaving it all in there because I really don't want to keep filming. But anyways, then I have the Undead Pool by Kim Harrison, who is, as everyone knows, one of my absolute favorite authors. I love her. I love this series. I'm really, really sad that it's coming to a close. I think there's like one more book, I think, in the series. Maybe two. I can't remember. But I, yeah, I can't remember. She said something. Sorry. She said she said something <laughs> about it. One or two more. But I'm really, really sad. But I love these books, so that one's a for sure book. My dogs Did you take are out losing. the floor while you read? <laughs> My dogs are losing their mind. I don't know what they hear outside, but they're losing their minds. Okay. Is this your maybe pile, or is this your this definite is my pile? my definite. I only showed three for my definite, four for me. That's a lot for you. <laughs> and then I should have put it in a different order. 
<laughs> Maybe that's wrong. <laughs> anyway, like, this is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But they're all maybes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> pretty much. Okay. Um, I've got the ghost hunter, huntress, um, the awakening, book one. I'm, I'm only reading this because I love the covers. That's the only reason why I bought them. Because of the covers. <laughs> well, actually, I had her buy them <laughs> because of the covers. Shame me five. Yeah, so we got them on what book depository? I believe that's what I don't remember. I know yeah. they were expensive, so that's all. All right, then a oh, baby. by Marley Gibson. <laughs> she does it to me all the time. Oh, well, okay. I gotta tell him what I the know, name I know, is. I know, I know, I know, I know. And okay, I got Touch of Frost, and I know, shame, shame, shame. I still haven't read it, but I'm going to try to fit it in this month. I really, really am. It's one of the books that I'm desperately trying to fit in, so She's lying. I'm going to try it. And this is by Jennifer Eastap. I know. It probably will be a lie. That's like... Uh, She's not going to try. <laughs> I want to read it. I don't know why I haven't picked it up. Okay. I'm going to read Mothership. <clears throat> That's what she says. By Martin Lich. 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 Sounds like a German. Lich. Lich. Isn't it Lich. the C's like Licht? Licht. Licht. Is it Licht? Licht. Okay. I think you say Licht. Licht. Licht inside. No. <laughs> Pretty much. And <clears throat> Isla Neil. Gosh, these people and their names. <laughs> Being normal. I'm just kidding. In Germany, they probably are. <laughs> it's probably like brown here or white or Mrs. Uh, <laughs> John Doe or whoever the heck. Anyways, I got I'm Black sure. City by Elizabeth Richards. <laughs> She's so random. John D. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I've been dying to read this. It is, I picked it up several times. I haven't put it in TBRs, I don't think, but I've been wanting to read it. And it's just one of those books that have been on my mind lately. So I want to get to it. And this is going to be a possible read, but I really want to read it. So if she reads it or not, I don't care. So you guys show, I got two versions of the book. She's going to read one and I'm going to read one if we get to it. It's, mine's The Curse of Maleficent. Which is the pretty, 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 pretty. With all the pictures. And, <clears throat> I mean, I bought this one too because I had to have it. So, okay. they're both based off of the movie. This is going to be probably a really quick read for me. I probably could do it in one setting. And it's um, the Disney version, Maleficent, of the movie. So, this is more they're like... both Disney versions. But, I know, they're both the Disney versions, but this is like supposed to be really based off the movie. Or the movie based off, I don't know. How they did it, which came first. But I love the cover. It goes with another book she has, like the Snow White cover, and yeah. it's really awesome. So I figured. I think Scott this one is more that, geared towards Aurora, though, and that one is, is more, geared more Maleficent. Maleficent. So <clears throat> if we read it together, we're going to compare. See, and it says Maleficent may be known as a wicked villainess. Yeah, her starts out with Maleficent, and mine starts out with Aurora. Yeah, and it so. says, but she didn't start out that way. So it's, it gives her backstory, kind of yeah. like that. Or at least it's supposed like to. Like the movie. <clears throat> right. And then I have two more books. She's pretty much done showing. But I want to read Erased by Jennifer Rush, which um, I read Altered, loved Altered, so I really, really want to get to this this month. But it's going in the maybe pile because I don't have to read it. And then last is Sweet Peril by Wendy Higgins. Another one I've been dying to pick up ever since I read Sweet Evil, and I just want to read it and get it done, so, because I've been dying to read more of this world, or, or these people, so, anyways, guys, that is our TBR and our craziness, as you can see, um, my family's always Bottles. nuts, no, it's kidding, <laughs> but anyways, <laughs> All right, guys, we will be back with maybe a book haul, book haul and maybe a couple other things that we've got going on. But right now, yes! no promises. What the hell was that? <laughs> anyway, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.